mastering Parzalu's paper effect. In his most recent edit, Parzalu did things that most editors had never even seen before. But there was one effect that instantly hooked me, and was it really as complicated as it looked? So the first step in this entire effect is Roto brushing out the main subject. Now, I know Roto brushing, it's scary. It's a little bit, oh my god. But just like all the girls that you avoid, you just need to take the leap, little bro. With that said, let's have a go at it. So just click on your clip, click on the roto brush up the top here, double click your layer. It should open up a second layer. Cool. We're vibing. Now, what you want to do is just draw a decent line around the subject. Just yeah, like a little squiggle, just trying to get it all in. And you'll see an outline start to appear. Now, I want to make it extremely clear that you need to get this dead perfect no i'm just joking the exact opposite actually with this effect you don't need to be perfect not in the slightest because no one's going to be able to tell so really just literally do what i'm doing right now i'm not too stressed at all about what remains in and what doesn't obviously you just want the basic or her to be there or whatever clip you're using to just be there let's just freeze this thing dead straight how it is and it's fine. It's not going to make a difference whatsoever. We're going to have faith in After Effects. Now, depending on your computer, this may take longer. It may be quick like mine. After this, you just go back up, reselect the mouse tool, exit out of the layer, and you should just have her. After this, you want to pre-compose this layer. So right-click, pre-compose, move all the attributes, adjust the composition duration, boom, OK. Now, add the effect, posterize time. Do you want to adjust this thing's frame rate? So we're going to make it look like it's 10 frames per second. So it's really choppy, glitchy, all that sort of stuff. Now, after this, you're going to duplicate this layer, add S underscore halftone. Depending on your clip, the dot frequency is either going to be a lot more or a lot less. So I think 100 is pretty good for this clip. Some clips will require 50 only, or some will require like 150. So just play around with that, see what you like. And then with the lightness, you want to go 0 0.09. But again, play with it. Not in that way, but play with it. And after this, you want to come down here to this comp here, toggle switch the mode, change the mode layer to overlay. So then the color comes back. After this is break, it's nice and interesting. Go find some paper, like online, go find it anywhere, some black paper, and just drag it all in. Now, I'm going to cut this at like three frames length, highlight them all, cut them. And what you want to do is you want to have a bunch of different paper textures. Click the bottom one, hold shift, click the top, right click, Keyframe assistant, sequence the layers, okay. It should spread them out nice and good. Now you do want them to go to the end. So if it doesn't, just highlight them all, duplicate them, drag it to the top, drag that over. After you have done this, you want to highlight them all, right click, click pre-compose them, and then you should have this paper on the top. So what you want to do is you want to change the track mat to the bottom one where it cuts out, and you want to change the mode to screen. So now we're getting somewhere. Now we've got the paper layer on, we're very sick. Now there's only one more step. Just enable the visibility, get the color back. And what we're left with is a nice glitchy paper effect. It's very easy, very simple, but it looks absolutely premium. So with that, thanks for watching. Have a good one.